Hello everyone and welcome back. This is uh, another unboxing. Uh, this will be exclusive to Patreon. Uh, we have a new headset that has come in the mail. Uh, for those of you in the loop on the stream, we had some A40s, Astro A40s, uh, come in the mail last week through GameStop. And they do not sell the latest A40s that I paid $250 for. Uh, they sold me the 2017 version of the A40. So I had to return them, get a refund, and order the actual 2019 A40s that cost the same price direct from Astro. And so these are the sort of PS4, PC, Mac, as they've been described. Uh, and this comes with the MixAmp Pro. So the big difference was really in the MixAmp and some of the technology we're getting here. There's There's been some big improvements as far as that goes. Okay? So uh, we'll get started with the unboxing here. Let's take a look at the back here. Uh, tuned with Astro Audio, Dolby Audio, uh, Superior Fit and Finish, uh, Swappable Boom Mic, Mod Kit Ready, Pro Gamer Certified. This is the Tournament ready series of course so this is the a40 tr as they call it yeah tournament ready um game voice and balance uh knob uh customizable stream out digital daisy chain usb sound card functionality customization software and is 3d audio ready uh so you have swappable headbands swappable ear cushions speaker tags um boom mic is swappable you have a mute button um, you have master volume game voice balance. You have EQ modes, which is a big difference between this and the older models. That now you have multiple EQ modes that we can switch uh, between. We have a digital daisy chain, optical in, USB audio power, aux in, aux in and out, and customizable stream out and a headset port. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and just get right into it. I'm very excited, and uh be a really nice headset to have for gaming, whether I'm, you know, where PS4, my sound on stream is often a very difficult thing, as PS4 does their sound way different than anybody else, uh, and that's a bad thing. Okay, so we open this here, um, kind of opens up really nice, okay, unfolds, and it looks like we've got some sort of a box in a box. Make sure in this nice and neat, because this is a very nice box. So it would be nice to be able to put everything back as it belongs. And uh, yeah, the cool thing is, uh, and one thing that my friend Uriah, uh, you can check him out, twitch.tv slash Uriah, U-R-I-Y-Y-A. Uh, you can check him out there. Okay, so uh, we got a box here. It says tuned for gaming. Okay, nice. Some weird, weird designs that put in here. Okay, we got a tab. Ooh, okay. So here we go. This this is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Definitely top tier as far as quality goes here. Okay, so we take out the headset. Being really nice. Astro. Blue blue color, blue tag, looks nice. Loving the silver accents. That's really cool. We've got cloth right here. Everything's removable. So this is fully customizable. Or if something know gets really dirty I can take it out and clean it or replace various parts okay so we've got we can swivel like that as needed um, we can adjust here depending on how big your head is you have adjusters on both sides those look very nice very durable that's good okay we got our our boom mic plug-in right here uh, we got an audio cable 
Not the bottom right there. That's where it'll connect. I'm not too fond of the uh, of the. Oh yeah, and the headband. Headband is very nice as well. That's removable and customizable. Um, I'm not very fond of wireless headsets. I I don't like the idea of I would have to stop talking to my friends and charge my headset. Okay, so this this is the big deal right here. The mix amp. So this is our master of volume here. Okay, this feels good. Feels smooth. Okay, and we've got our voice and game mix. We've got voice here on the right, game on the left. Um, we've got our different EQs that we can switch between here. We can turn on the Dolby modes. Uh, there's different symbols here, which I don't quite know what those are yet, but we'll, we'll check it out. But yeah, uh, these four little dots in the middle are the four different EQ modes that we can switch between. So I'll read a little bit about that so you can kind of understand what it's about. Okay, so next let's look at... Let's look at our ports. Okay, so this one is described uh, as the uh, digital daisy chain. Right. Uh, we have a 3.5 out for the stream. We have an auxiliary right there as well. We have a PS4 PC switch next to that. And then we have a USB there. That's probably going to be our power. We have an optical. And then and then we have, once again, this digital daisy chain again. Uh, so, yeah, very nice. So that's all from the back. And from the front, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. From the front, this is what goes to the headset. Um, so this is, this is cable organization here. They're older mix amps. Had cables coming out the front, cables coming out the back. It was a mess. So that's why this is one of the key reasons why this headset and mix amp is 100% something we want. And this button kind of disappears. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay. Anyway, that looks cool because we're in space. Uh, but yeah, this looks nice. It looks well made. Um, yeah, it feels very durable. So. You know, it's it's and and also there's you can feel and see sort of the metal grooving of the knobs here, so that feels really nice on your hands, and you can just you can easily go high or low, whatever you need to do. Cool. So that's going to be a, an exciting new way to control sound for me and for the stream, and hopefully this will solve a lot of our our PlayStation woes. Okay, so if we open, uh, as I showed you before we took out the headset, we've got this little box here. This is probably going to be our cables. Okay, it says, do not return your gear to the store. Visit our FAQs and knowledge base. Update your firmware. Um, if you have any questions or issues, contact customer support, of course. Yeah. Um, so, right here, first thing we got. We're popping our mic out, and it's sort of this flexible material, kind of bendy. And have it straight or get it into a position of your choosing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take that plastic off. And we've got that, so I'm going to go ahead and so remove. Let me guys live for this. And so. We can put it either way, whichever way you want it. Okay. So once it's clicked in, I can adjust the angle like such. I can have it straight up, which I'll do for now to keep it out of harm's way. And now below that, we've got a nice set of cables. So it looks like it looks like they're setting us up. It looks like we're gonna be okay here. Uh, I was very worried about having to potentially run out to the store and get more audio cables, but it looks like it looks like they've set us up with some decent length cables. Okay, so this is our USB power uh, right here. It's our uh, 3.5 millimeter. I guess we can run that to the controller. Um, and I have extras if 
course for if I need to do sort of a stream output type thing as well. Um, here we've got the optical cables. That's good. Uh, and then here, this is our digital. Um, and I keep forgetting that. So, yeah, very, very different looking cables there. All right. So we've got all that. So uh, last thing, we'll we'll just quickly see how to set all this up. We'll take a look at the instructions. See if we can figure out how we're going to link all this together and how to get it best working on stream and how we'll be able to transition this headset as quickly as possible between, uh, between streaming on PS4 and streaming on PC going to be very key okay got led stuff uh indicating modes oh no a, a blueprint here probably ear cushions yes yes Ah, okay. Um, we got a couple of different things. We got our daisy chain cable, our micro USB cable, our inline mute cable, and our TOS link optical. Good. Now if we look here, our quick start guide. Micro uh, cable. into the PS4 or into your PC or Mac. We plug the optical cable into the mix amp and the PS4. The A40 inline mute cable, plug the 3.5 millimeter jack closest to the mute switch, and the 3.5 millimeter port on the A40 headset. Plug the other end into the front of the MixAmp Pro. Ensure the PS4 switch on the MixAmp Pro is set to PS4 or PC, respectively. Um, once it's connected, the console will detect the MixAmp Pro as a USB device. On the dashboard, navigate to settings, select devices, audio devices, input devices, USB headset, Astro MixAmp Pro, and the output device is set the same. Ensure the output headphones is set to chat audio. Navigate back to the settings. Select sound and screen, navigate to the audio output settings, and ensure primary output port set to digital out optical and audio format priority is bitstream Dolby. That's it. Your A40 is set up. So yeah, very, very similar uh, setup as far as uh, PC. But really, I just, I just need them for listening on my PC. I just need to hear. Uh, you know, I can use this mic here. As a way to communicate with both the stream and fellow gamers and have excellent voice quality which i'm sure these astros will have as well but i like my mic uh so we'll put that aside and uh let's let's try it on try it on for the first time we see what we think uh comfort wise is it going to be a headset that i'll be able to wear for long periods of time, or is this kind of a, a, a one-hit thing? Okay, so the left one is here. I hear that you can swap these. I hear that you can wear it backwards. We'll, we'll wear it. Okay, so it's a little, little tight right here. I'll make an adjustment. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's, oh, it takes a lot. There's no clicking. There's no clicking, so we're really just pushing, and, and then we can determine the distance that it needs to be uh, when we're testing audio. But if we look at that, it looks like we're good to go. So uh, I, I would like to thank Astro. Uh, Sending this 
promptly. I've been in need of a headset. And this was a good purchase. This was $250. And so we've got, got our Astro Tournament Ready headset, PS4 and PC. We've also got previous unboxing. We've got the Astro C40, which I am a massive fan of. This has been my main controller uh, for PC and PS4 gaming. Um, it's It's been a nice little replacement from having to Always sync my Elite, Microsoft Xbox Elite controller back and forth between PC and Xbox. And you're, all, you're always turning one on by accident and, you know, when you're trying to play with the other. So it's not cool, not simple and easy. This, I just take the USB thing and I plug it into my PC or I plug it in to my PS4, whatever's needed, right? Cool. Uh, well, this has been a fantastic unboxing. I will report back and, of course, you can check it out on stream. Uh, further details and questions can be forwarded there. Uh, and really, the, the key part that's probably going to go into the review is how well this integrates with PS4. How does this impact my sound while streaming from PS4? As that is quite a troublesome experience. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, thank you for being patrons. And I hope this has been an exciting. Take care, and we will catch you guys on the next one.